Good kitten internet. Uh, welcome to the Lost Vikings 2, North by Northwest. Um, or if you're in the US, North by Northwest, the Lost Vikings 2. So the um, little thing that you see up above me indicates the PAL version. I'm not playing the PAL version, I'm playing the NTSC version. And I'm just going to sit it on here so the demo doesn't go off. So, um,. Yeah, and if you're in the PAL version, if you're in PAL regions, this is labeled as Lost Vikings 2. Alternately, if you were playing the SNES version of the game, this is labeled as Lost Vikings 2. In this case, this is North by Northwest. I'm playing my actual original copy of the PS1 version. I am playing using a PS1. This is my PS2 wireless controller. What you are seeing is my PS1 going through, well, a lot of happy fun times. Let's go ahead and start the game. Fishing. Should have thought about that before we left. Yes. You've eaten three times today, and the sun hasn't even come up. Well, no wonder I'm hungry. Also, so there's an orange kitty here. Tor. God, take them to the time space modulation thingy and transport them to thingy. the thingy. Yes, Thingies are important. You will follow me. <laughs> and class some more. Oh no, not another system failure. Get it. Cartoon violence. We grabbed some cool stuff from that robot. I wonder what it does. Time to find out now. We need to get out of here. Thingies. So, The Lost Vikings 1 was one of my favorite games as a kid. I only ever got a chance to play it initially um, when I were, would visit my father at the software store that he worked at. Hold on a moment. I'm going to uh, kill the lights over next to me because they, uh, well, let's just say that my TV's a mirror right now. There we go. And yeah, I still look fine. Okay. It's less of a mirror now. So, um, I am actually playing this on a real PS2. Uh, my original PS1 is long since dead, but this is my original PS2. It's been modded at this point. Lost Vikings 1 is a puzzle game with these three characters. This is Eric the Swift. His ability is jumping. This is the same in each. He can also ram into things. In Lost Vikings 2, he has rocket shoes. In Lost Vikings 1, he just runs fast. Uh, we have Baliog. He's got a sword. That's the same as Lost Vikings 1. It's also almost as useless as it was in Lost Vikings 1. In Lost Vikings 1, his other ability is an arrow. He actually doesn't have that in this game. He has the most loud and obnoxious sound effect in the game. It allows him to grapple over things and punch things in the face. Then finally we have Olaf. His abilities include... Yeah. Um, when the shield is on his head, he can float like Majestic Olaf. And when it's in front of him, well, he's blocking attacks. In this case, he also has the ability to fart. Yep. Also, he has the ability to shrink. You control these three characters and finish puzzles. This is a tutorial level, so there's nothing here other than the end. 
which is actually even easier tutorial than the first game, which is sad. Can you take us to the big shiny metal thing that brought us here? Well, I know a spell that could send you there. I'm still not sure what she is. This game is really dark. And Sounds good. Let's go. So, um, what was I saying? Um, the Frame Meister makes this darker. So the Frame Meister, I actually have a hardware scaler that is working to make this actually scale up to 1080p and not look like absolute garbage. So that's part of the reason why it actually looks halfway decent if you look over to um, the left of my picture. Uh, in addition should mention the way that these levels and the way Lost Vikings 1 worked is that you need to get your three Vikings to the exit. In Lost Vikings 2 or Norse by Northwest, you need to get your three Vikings or three characters, I should specify, because there are more than three characters in this game, and you have to get them to the exit with a set of items. I have to get used to the fact that the D-pad is what's used. There's the Batwing. Baleon stole the guard's energy saber. Press X to attack. They really made this game easy to start. The game is not actually that easy. The guard shield. Press X. At the toward the end of the game. I think that's floating like a majestic Olaf. Uh. <sighs> you have three hit points usually. Um, there's usually a way of getting a fourth hit point later on. So, getting hit once is not that big of a deal. Uh, if any one of your characters dies, it's effectively end of level. You can continue playing through the level, but you can't do much. Because you reach the end and you just have to restart the level. So it's useful for, okay, what else is beyond this so I can learn, but that's about it. What did I forget? I am don't think I forgot something. I mean, I know I'm... Okay, yep. Sorry. Just didn't move close enough. Yeah. Are we going to have to do this every time? Teleporting people ain't like dust and crops, boy. Without precise ingredients. Look, we don't need a lecture. Just cast the spell, all right? Lots of sarcasm and humor in this game. Lots of pop culture references. This was my childhood. Or I should say, this game was my teenage years. So, this came out in 1997. You'll notice it has a password system and not actual saved games, which is... Well, par for the course. Olaf can glide like a majestic eagle. By holding his shield over his head while falling. Dwarfing shield. That's the reason why he's able to shrink. That's a dwarfing shield. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, uh, those flames that you briefly saw, that would indicate fall damage. So if I didn't switch to a slower fall, I would take damage. If you have the right color key, you... This game really tries to baby you. Oops. I'm really not used to using a D-pad on a PS2 anymore. Oh. I used to be able to ram into them, and maybe it's because they're actually attacking. To jump higher, stand Eric up.
<sighs> so, yep, this is the way the Lost Vikings work. See how short the range of that sword is? That's the reason why I tend to not use it. Again, not used to these controls anymore. So you can transfer items between characters' inventories. Need to move everybody up before I move Olaf, who's currently scratching his butt. Yay, Olaf. So usually you want to lead off with either Olaf or Eric the Swift. Can I? Yeah, I can't do damage by... So, in the first game, that's one of the ways you can do damage, is by ramming into something. Seriously. Generally, how this game works. Why making stew? How can you have such a big head and such a small brain, Olaf? So I think she's riding a broomstick and is supposed to indicate being a witch, but I don't know. To me, it always looked like she was a bird. So yeah, that's what his ramming ability is useful for. Press square while running to give Eric the speed to destroy someone. Stand on an elevator. It's down here. Okay. So he'll need to be on the elevator. Olaf needs to cross first. Because Olaf has to go here since it's shrinking. So, oh, this tutorial allows you to indicate you can throw things away. By the way, do not throw away something you need. That does not work well. You can just ram into things in any direction. Sorry, I'm a little tired tonight. I probably shouldn't have started this tonight. I wanted to start it yesterday, but that did not work out for me. Are you serious? Uh, yeah, I... I don't like Lost Vikings 2 as much as I like Lost Vikings 1, but that's okay. The, later, uh, the earlier levels are better. Not to mention, the early levels are just easy. Baleon's bionic arm lets him grab objects the others can't reach. Yep, he can reach and grab things. Besides, it doesn't help that... I don't like Baleog, both as a character and his abilities. He's just kind of obnoxious. Audio mixing is off. So I don't remember the music being this loud compared to the words.
All right, now we have a swimming level. Only Eric can Eric's swim. Smasho Gill. Smasho Gill. So yeah, he can swim. Everybody else has super drowning skills. And hey, look, there's secrets. You may find extra items. Yeah, none of, I mean, there were a couple of help text things. And I do mean a couple, like, you know, maybe one or two per level. Yep, I messed that up already. Yep. Alright, let's quit and then go back in. I think that's supposed to be Freya. Let's go ahead and retry. So if anybody had died, Freya would be bringing them back to life at that particular point. By the way, how are you? It's been a while since I've recorded anything like this. Mostly because I haven't really been up to much of anything lately. I've been kind of meh. Been doing some prep for Vita. Need to remember to do this right. It's been a very long time since I've played this, so it's. I'm not labeling this an expert run or anything because this is pretty far from an expert run. So, what I actually need to do is. Oops. This. This is actually much easier with. Uh, no, that still doesn't work. Yeah, because that's the wrong height level for that. So that's not happening. Remember, always punch up. Do I just double jump this thing? Hmm. I need to get Billy Hog. Oh, now I see them. I didn't even see that. This game is too dark. Also, this game is old enough on the PS1 where it doesn't handle analog sticks, so you actually have to use the D-pad. And D-pad is not exactly my forte in general. There we go, this makes more sense. I didn't think there was a way to get bricked this early on in the game. There's no time limit for swimming or anything for reference. Nope, no secret there. Really don't think there's any secrets on this level, but it's not like you really need the secrets in this game. There's not even a point type system. It's just there for extra health and so on. Okay, 
There we go. This smells like the wing of a fruit bat. Are you sure, sure this is a vampire, vampire bat wing? wing? Of course it's a vampire bat wing. But do you, do you think, think we are, are stupid? Have it your way. <laughs> And this is the first level for our first character. New character, that is. Hey, can you tell what type of character it is from the password? Yeah. Eric? Eric? Hey, where's Eric? Hey, Baleog! I thought... Quiet meatball! I kind of a vampire bat and a fruit bat. Bah! Oh. Damn it. Luckily, you can still do good chunks of puzzles without any one given character. And you always only have three characters for reference. And you can see, that's our new character. His name's Fang. Fang is the most obnoxious voice in the game. I also don't like Fang. Oop, damn it. Did not mean to do that. Sorry. Well, now you can... That's all he does is yell at you saying, Hey, you hairless ape. So it's like this. Pass the key over to Olaf. Right. No, Olaf, don't fart. So yes, Gilbert Gottfried is in fact one of the voice actors. Fang's vicious claws are a major threat to monsters. Ugh. Press square. Fang is the worst character in my mind. Although getting all three jumpy boys at once is not too bad. And now you see why he's such a bad character. I can't hit worth a damn because his range is is even worse than the others. Oh, right. Baleog's over there. And the game was warning me that, by the way, you can't continue if you only have two. Yes, retry level. Blink. And there is Fang. So, this game is very forgiving. It should be a relaxing stream. Um, the game's also not very long, which helps. Nope, need to get him up here. So otherwise, I can't hit with the stupid fist of stupidity. Uh, I don't mean to rip on this game so much. I mean, I do have good memories of it. I forgot, I need to go under. I do have good memories of it. It's just... Uh, as an adult, this game's not that fun anymore. Maybe I won't even get through it. Well, I don't like not getting through games. Oops. It's to me it's kind of feels like the game tried too much too hard to be hip and cool. Whereas Lost Vikings 1 had this nice charm to it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me waxing poetic over a game that I played as a kid versus a game I played as a teenager. Hey, you and my safe. told you he just keeps saying it over and over again I don't even think he can hit there yeah his range is only ever slightly better than Baleog's 
So yeah, he can jump, he can attack, and he can climb, which is actually his primary ability. I used to be extremely fast at this. Like, speedrunner level of fast. Let's see, what else has been going on? Prepping for Vita, because today's, what, the 26th or something like that? So, important to have things ready. I've got some plans. I think that's it for the level, yeah. Can't recommend anything with Fang. Because Fang jumps like an anemic. Not an anemic. That's not the right term for me. Okay. Now, I think it's too Eric. Is the platypus coming to? Hello! I'm a wolf! W O L F! It becomes a thing in the game. You need to be taught some magic! Hey, guess who's not gonna be in the next level? There is one character, uh, it's the next character that you get is my favorite, and he's so much better than any of the other attackers. Brat. Eric, where you been? <laughs> Polar ice caps. Well, I guess that's where Billy Hog is. <laughs> well, we've still got Bang. He attacks and jumps. A jumping ferret, eh? Quit badgering me! Smart bombs will give the monsters a nice surprise. So, smart bombs are also in the original. They're always handy. So, toward the end of each of the sets of levels, you will find time machine parts instead of whatever you normally look for. Things like that. Ah, uh, there's safe. This is not a safe spot. in my inventory. Oh, yeah, so Olaf goes down there. Fang and Eric both go up here. <sighs> Eric can help with that. Oh, wait. We don't want to do that right now. He can shrink. Fart his way across. Fang can go pick him up. This is why we don't want to do that yet, because that's going to hurt. This is also the reason why Eric always bounces backwards when he rams into something, so he doesn't get hit by that. Eric is good. I like Eric. <laughs> 
So is Olaf. Olaf is awesome. That's not what I told you to do, Kane. There we go. No, not shrink. And Fang's the only one who can actually attack, so. See, I probably would have used the all kill here, personally. Which is fine. Bailey, are you mad, man? Where, Where have you been? been? That witch sent me to the pit of despair to teach me a lesson. Will you help us put the time machine back together? Or what? What I've been through, I'm gonna stay right here until we leave. I don't want to risk getting stuck here with this miss manners. Oh. Okay, Mr. Thingy. Mr. Thingy. We want to go back to our village. It seems like we've been here in the dark for ages. Initiating sequence 212 to dark. This also becomes a thing. Maximum capacity 3. Excess matter retargeted. Bloop. So, between each of these sections of levels, we have a tomato cutscene. And now, we are about to meet the sorceress here in. Now, where are we? And where's that goat? I don't know. Looks like Fang got set somewhere else. Boy, that machine's not very helpful, is it? Oop. Yeah, this was in the demo. Swing over. Punch that thing a bunch. And talk to her. I am the sorceress Care Inn. Is there any way I can pay you for saving me? Yeah. I know that voice. Can you help us? You know, I can teleport you to it, but I'd need a dragon's egg and a magic wand and a spell scroll. We'll find those things and bring them to you. Olaf always floats down spike lane. Spike thingies. Okay, so Olaf needs to go down here. Nope. I guess Eric can make it across the spikes? This sounds like a bad idea, but, you know. Yep, bad idea. So there's probably a different way through. And by probably, I mean there's definitely a different way through. This, that's the way this game works. Hmm. Did it again. Not what I need to do. Okay, got that part. Apparently, Eric needs to go up here. I am the sorceress. Yes, uh, we're looking for this. All of them have different dialogue to each of the characters. We'll find those. With two players, you can actually do this a little bit more easily. Ah, now I see it. Whee! Olaf levels. Get meat. Well, first off, ram down here. So I'm going to be doing this kind of like the Might Magic videos, where I'm going to do this one hour at a time, roughly. Oh, 
don't think there was anything else down here, right? Oops. Oh, that's right. There is actually something down here. Uh, yep. But I can't ram like that. Okay. I'm gonna have to come from the other side, which is fine. Always lead with Olaf. Olaf is the one. The only. The Olaf. You know what? I'm gonna have Olaf move back slightly just so they're at the same height level. Because knights are annoying. You need to hit them twice, and you need to deal with, um, whatchamacallits, uh, their shield. So, the way you're supposed to do this is slow. Screw being slow. Oops. That one's fine. Now, you would think that Olaf would be the heaviest one of the three, but no, they are actually all equal height for absolutely no reason. Don't know why that is, just is. Okay, now we've got that. Now we go up like this. Olaf shrinks and is still the same weight, and grabs a scroll. That's a farting. Okay. Make sure that I'm no longer on the same height level. Ooh, that was a glitch. Basically, you're supposed to hit him at an exact time, except the game doesn't really handle timing very well. And then there's dragons. Dragons are obnoxious. Might as well break that so I can get through later on. get stuff. So much meat and no way to eat it because I didn't get hurt. Ah. There we go. You move back and up. So multiplayer version of this, you actually control multiple characters, as in if there were two people playing, two of the, these three characters would be under player control, which actually makes the game more fun in my mind. Um, and if you've played some modern games, you may have noticed a spiritual successor to this game called Trine. Trine is a very fun game. Well, the first two are. The third one is 3D, and I just know this type of game does not need to be in 3D. You see, I've never actually cast the teleport spell before. <laughs> Oops. I should figure out whose voice that is. I'll do that between videos. We're at 40 minutes, so I still have 20 more minutes. Bomb. I know that spells aren't perfect, but 
This is ridiculous. At least you You've got, got me. We'll ever have anything that needs to be eaten. I'll let you, you know. know. But thanks. And this is actually the video that I used for testing purposes, so I know this area quite well. I'll probably still mess it up because I said that, but you know. There's my character. Scorch is the best. Scorch is like all of the other characters in the games, but better. I really need to figure out who the voice actors are. They're too, all too... I know... So... Eric the Swift's voice actor is Rob Paulson, the one that does lots and lots of things. Um, don't know the others. So, Scorched is the only full ranged attacker in the game. You know, like that. But he can also fly. Why do I have Paleog again? Oh yeah, and he can also float. He's got powers from all three of the original Vikings. Alright. I am not good at aiming with Scorch, though. Also, you should probably have your shield down. There we go. See? Scorch doesn't really need a shield to speak of. Since he can duck. Unfortunately, he's actually really bad at fighting dragons. Leatherly bat like wings. And this is a teleporter. You start getting used to them really fast. Ooh, at least I was facing the right way. So yeah, Scorch means you don't really need Baleog at all. Oops. That was my fault. I'm not paying attention. Gonna fly down? But I thought. Oops. Got too close again. It's quite close range is terrible in this game. Right. You shrink down. Hit the button. And then we can finally control Eric again. Let's not skip this roll. There we go. Then you come down here. Do. Ah! Uh, I always have to hit it exactly right. Okay, hit that one. Oops. There we go, teleport. Not fart. And that's it for Olaf. I don't think it actually matters which one of the two of them come up here, but... Need to make sure I don't take falling damage, because that's still a thing. Scorch. 
Scorch needs the bomb. So, Scorch will actually get tired if after three jumps. And thankfully, this game doesn't allow the knight to move any further forward. I don't quite understand the logic beyond you probably don't want somebody to die. Boom! And there we go. All taken care of. Hooray! Can you take us to Baleog? Go to the cliffs of insanity. Ah, uh, probably my favorite of these. I even made a role-playing character based off of her name. Wizard. Well, no shield, people. Where's Olaf? I guess it's finally his turn to get sent to some miserable place. Guy. I am Scorch. Olaf asked me to help him hunt a mean and ugly Viking. That's you, I presume. Now look here, Scourge. Whatever Olaf said, no one's hunting anyone, Servi. Baleog is with us. I see. Well, let's find Olaf. You see, I am honor bound to follow his... I love how Scorch is some voice actor pretending to have a Sean Connery accent. Okay, there's that. And the infamous quote. Hold an X down while falling. Allow Scorch to glide like a majestic Olaf. You know what? You can stay there. You can also stay there. There we go. Stupid wizard. Uh, so many annoyances. Also, I th think I can ram into this wall. No? Is it down here, maybe? Yep, that's the one. There we go. It's a ladder. Secrets. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can actually hit that, can't I? I just need to position myself correct and then use a stupid D-pad. Ah! I hate D-pads. There's a reason why I use analog sticks. Uh, maybe I should have played this emulated just so I wouldn't have to worry about that. Okay. I don't even remember what that one did for me. Yeah, Scorch is basically just a palette swap of those red dragons. Alright. Well, this is an Eric section. It's the only one who can swim. It's a seesaw. <laughs> hmm, apologies. Annoying. 
Robes, robes, basically. Because you know what this game needed? Was robes. Ah, shield. So, shields give you that extra hit point. Which is going to be needed, because we don't have an Olaf. Okay. Okay, we need Eric for that part. That requires a gold key, which I don't have. Oh. Okay, I see the pattern. Now, can I actually do anything about the pattern? Yes. Now, why these style of bombs work underwater, I have no idea. Alright, where do you get teleported to? Okay. That's fine. Now, where's this take me? Why is that even here? Just to taunt me with meat. Uh, apparently. Okay. I'm not too concerned. I don't... Oh. Yeah. deal with the death. Okay. You know what? You can swim, so we're just gonna have you go down here. And then you can go back to bouncing. We finally need Billyog. By the way, I'm not looking at a guide or anything. It just happens to be that I remember how games like this tend to go. Oops. Okay, there is a bouncing thing there. Good. You can continue bouncing. just takes me down here. Where did I need to go from here? Oh, right. We have a key. We have everything that we need now. It's right over here. And kill everything! Because there's nothing left to level. And that's that level. We've got five more minutes left, so we'll do one more level. <laughs> That's because Olaf gets everything awesome. Voice actors had way too much fun in this game. So we've got Fang this time. If you couldn't tell from the spell name, the spell name's a hint as to the level. But we're missing Baliog? Yeah, we're missing Baliog and Scorch. Must have messed up and done something right. Yeah, 
I guess she brought me back from the Emerald City. You know, I asked the munchkins to send me home. But they tried to give me some useless red slippers. <laughs> Yeah, so Fang basically has the ability to jump over everybody. So he's actually the one that's best at fighting the knights because he could just jump over them. Something wrong with that button. Um, he could just jump over them. Fart. Shrink. And just land in the water. I'm gonna have to bomb this because I didn't have enough space to run. Fang's got the key. Fang needs to hang out along an edge that way he doesn't fail. I don't know how much how entertaining this is actually gonna be to watch. I may just quit this after a small amount. See, he's actually good at fighting knights, unlike everybody else. In fact, you're getting the extra hit point. A uh, name to float like a majestic Olaf. And I'm just gonna have Olaf sit like that. You know what? You can float down. Uh, Fang has to do this part. I'm going to jump up a little higher just so I don't have to deal with the wizard. Now Eric can come through, bash his head against the wall. That is the same sound effect as Meteor Swarm in Might Magic 6. Just dawned on me. Okay, the style of puzzle. That'll work. Ah, it's the wrong character. I can go, just go down here as Eric. Ah, uh, doesn't really help too much. Olaf can do this. Fang can go over here. character? Where's the teleporter bring me? Well, I mean, that part's nice. Got that much, at least. Yeah, I definitely chose the wrong character to come over here. 
Uh, does that mean I have to actually bring all... Yeah, I'm gonna have to bring him back. Come on back. Oy. Too far down. Don't feel like being numbed. Whee! Yeah, I should have hit all of those first. Okay, that one's an Olaf fart. I need to not hit that. That may have just messed things up. Oh. That is a majestic Olaf that needs to go up there. How am I getting a majestic Olaf up there? Okay, he can fart his way across, that's why. I keep forgetting about that. That's why we needed that. Okay, that makes more sense. Now everybody else can go over. Although I have a funny feeling that I'm going to have to take... I don't know. I'll figure that out. I messed it up. Okay. Head is hard there. So is it's fang climbing up or something? No. Anyway, majestic goal off time. Alright, that takes me back to there. Which now I can go through here to the sorceress. Okay, now how the heck am I going to get through that? Because I messed that up badly. going to do this. I mean, Majestic Olaf should be able to get back up to operate things now. Yes. Okay. Wrong one. Right one. Oops. Did not actually mean to do that. Here that I need to go? Huh. That's an Olaf spot. How did Olaf go there? Olaf must need to mini himself. It's the only answer. Alright, let's take a look. How am I getting back up there? Right, over through here.
That button also looks like it's been depressed. Uh, was this where we started? Yeah, this is where we started, that's why. Okay. Okay. I am supposed we actually just have... No, we don't have all the items. Just drop off what we have so far, just in case if I'm just losing it. I'm pretty sure we're missing one item. Yeah, we are. Okay. I need a map. Everyone is gonna. So this is the part that I think I might be stuck at. I needed to be up there when I hit the switch. And the switch is not letting me undo itself, which is dumb. There's no reason for that to be a one-way thing. Okay. Pull off. Oy. Well, this is gonna be a long video. Oh well. Darn it, it's that one. Okay. See? Yep, yeah, I'm gonna have to restart. That's annoying. Well, we'll go ahead and end this here, and we'll pick it up next time, I guess. I don't know if people are even going to like this. Anyway, goodbye, Internet. I will see you next time. And stop.